Hi, I'm going to show you, um, uh, this is a step-by-step -step series on using the blog summer scripts and hacks. Uh, uh, this is what I tried to present at the webinar this Saturday, and I'm trying to make it a, as user-friendly as possible. Uh, first of all, the hacks have been updated to um, both be, um, be able to be used with subdirectory and subdomain-based MU sites. That's a big update. And second, you can add more than one feed to your hack so that you, uh, on the fly as you create a blog you can select the feed by the URL of the blog. And we'll get to that in a second. So first step is to download the um, MU scripts and set up your feed array. array. An array is just a collection of items. In this case it's the RSS feed variable right here and it's just a comma separated list of feeds. Uh, the first one you enter is your default feed. If you don't select one at the time you're you're actually creating your blog, um, it, it will default to this one. So it, it's best practice to use the one you're going to use um, the most in the first position. A and then after that, you can select any of the other ones just by the numeric value, num the order of them. Um, but it's a zero base, so the first one you would, s you would select, you would use uh, zero. Second one you would select, the f uh, you'd use the number one and so on. And we'll get to that when I show you the URL. What I have here, I have two uh, two feeds which are regenerated from the server edition. One of them is the eBay feed for product searches, and the second one is a news feed. Uh, sometimes you want to add different types of feeds just in case you you know that the if you, in case you know that the first feed won't uh, give you results, you have another feed to fall back on. So I have a new site here, blogbeam.com. I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and um, uh, use the eBay feed to create a blog. We'll say uh, uh, we'll. we'll We'll, we'll we'll use a PS we'll, we'll do we'll do a, a PlayStation Portable PSP related blog. Um, you, to do that is the first part of the URL here. If it's sub directory subdomain based, th this is uh, the blog ID that you want to use. Make sure it's unique and it's not already created. I know this is not created because this is a brand new blog. And at the end, you put your uh, query string parameter Q here. That's a very powerful vari variable. This tells um, the hack exactly what to uh, search for. Let me get back to the to the script file. Uh, when you download it, you you're going to add your RSS feeds here, and the and the what you need to do is you need to uh, get rid of the har any hard coding that the search uh, the wh whatever the hard coded search string is, and you replace it with the ver the uh, s bracket search in bracket like that. This will allow you to pull dynamically. Uh, on the fly, whatever you put in your Q query string parameter. So let's say PSP, and uh, and we'll, we'll just go ahead and um, let it create a blog. What it's doing right now is creating me. Uh, it's creating a blog with a blog ID of PSP, and it's populating it with an initial set of uh, uh, of posts related to uh, PlayStation Portable. Now let's say you want to let's say you want to um, um, use a, a different feed, like the second feed in the list. Um, I'm, I'm going to do something. We'll we'll we'll, we'll search for um, uh, we'll search for payday. We'll do a payday loan related blog, and um, I'm going to do uh, Q equals payday plus loans. Use plus in your qu in your query string to rep to to note to denote spaces. So if you have a space, you just use a use a plus right there, and then I'm going to select the f the second feed. You do that by doing an underscore, and then putting the whichever feed it is. But since the array is there is a zero based array, meaning the first item is zero, second one, you're going to put a one here to get the to activate the second feed. And um, now it's going it's searching for the feed. And it should give me a blog in a few seconds here. Um, this is a news-related uh, feed. Um, it takes a few seconds to do this. And um, so basically, uh, there it is. Here, here's the news-related blog I just created. There's no eBay items. This was the second feed I, I used. Um, um, so basically, what you see here, you see the uh, the the real news item here, and then you see uh, generated content below it. This allows your your blogs to get indexed and and indexed um, nicely. Um, so I'm I'm going to show you a second um, 
a, s a second blog I have. Um, I've, I have a blog on just a second. It's uh, um, the subdirectory based blog I created. I created one on a free blog hosting platform. And that's what the, what the power of this hack is because a lot of free w a PHP web hosting platforms do not give you access to um, uh, wildcard subdomains. So here's my um, subdirectory based blog. If I go down here, I already have some blogs created. I installed this hack on this blog as well. I'm going to go ahead and add a. To do it with a subdirectory, it's a little bit different. You don't have a subdomain to put your uh, your blog ID. So the way I do this is first you still have the Q parameter, we'll say PSP, and then uh, we're looking for PSP PlayStation Portable again, and then I can also select the feed if I wanted to, but I'm, I'm going to use a default feed, and then you do um, 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 to to denote the blog ID. When you're done with a Q parameter, you add a tilde, which is a, the squiggly character here. And then you put whatever your blog ID, whatever you wish to be your blog ID, uh, here. So say PSP online, and then go ahead and hit enter. And basically, what this is doing is doing the same thing um, that the subdomain-based uh, hack did, but it did it for uh, subdirectories. Um, so to sum it up, uh, basically, all, all what you do is you uh, download the script, the hack file, you change your RSS feeds here. You have RSS feed equals. You can put any uh, as many of feed and as many feeds as you want. Uh, make sure you change the hard coding of the search string with uh, the let's see. Let me get an end view here with the search parameter here, and then you just upload it. It's that simple and ready to go out of the box. Uh, next uh, uh, video is going to be an advanced usage of this. What we're going to do is we're going to create a self-growing MU site, um, basically by uh, creating an RSS feed that creates links to non-existent blogs which will then be created when it when they get spidered. Uh, we'll talk to you then.